Alrighty, how's it going guys? Looking forward to an interesting stream today. We're going to be going for four hours because I was a little too drunk yesterday to uh, stream. So I ended up cutting off early. So we're going to go for an extra hour and five minutes, Alpha. We're going to do this. Alright, let's uh, transition our way in. Pause said music and let's get going. So, Peter, it looks like you are first up. If you do want to play uh, some two-headed giant or versus with or against me, either way, uh, let me know. It seems like this might be the first Lumiless uh, stream as well, so I will be the keeper of said list until either he turns up or the stream ends. We'll see. Okay, so let's go to some two-headed giant. So um, I should mention we've got some new decks. We've got Tainted Drain. We've got Elemental Tribal. The many. Ooh. Uh, the Trials deck from Vavoda, a couple of, I think it was last week actually, or maybe the week before. And then there's another Fling combo deck as well, which looks like a lot of fun. And an Exert aggro deck, it's uh, kind of Exert anyway. So those are the new decks that we're going to be playing with on the stream today. So, um, I've been informed that the Tainted Drain deck, which is a Tainted Remedy deck, is terrible. But this seems like the perfect place for it really. Uh, so we could try it out. Right, uh, I think we'll go with... Let's start from right to left, I suppose. So we'll go with the Exert Aggro deck. This one's Ben Packer's list, so if you're here, we're going to be playing your deck today. All right. Uh, where are you? Kakariki. That would be you, wouldn't it, Beat? Sent you an invite, dude, so if you want to accept, we'll get into a game, see if we can uh, go 5-0. <laughs> We shall see. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a MTGO draft Armanket stream at some point this week. I'm not sure when it's going to be. Um, it's just kind of when I have time, really. And also Gwent's going to be coming out as well. So it's going to be a very, very busy week for the channel. So we're going to see what goes on there. I'm even going to do a pack opening for Gwent as well because I've got 40 kegs that I've still not opened. And I've managed to build a deck that wins far more often than it loses, which is fun. So that should be interesting. Alright, uh, are we on the right team? Let's see. And do our opponents have 60 card decks? Or are they 5 million? Oh, we've been matched incorrectly. Okay. And somebody doesn't have 60 cards in their deck. Alright, let's try that again. Invite teammates, go for Kakariki, and also accept the friend request that just came in, there we go. So how's everybody doing today? Is it as hot where you are as it is over here? <laughs> Cool Zapper. Yeah, I think that was uh I think that was you. Oh, we're getting an invite from Peter. We'll accept that one instead. See if that one goes through. It's pleasant for you. Yeah. We're having um kind of a heat wave at the moment, as far as England's concerned anyway. Yeah, no worries, Greg Red. I'll see you in a bit, man. <laughs> bikini season. I will neither confirm nor de deny that I'm in a bikini right now. <laughs> Alright, I think we've been matched properly here. Oh no, heatwave in England is always horrible. I hate it. Can't stand the heat. I prefer cold over hot though, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, so... It's got a lot of aggressive stuff. I've heard in single player this can kill your opponent on turn four, so it's going to be interesting. Four lands hands is not ideal, but we've got some decent cards, so we'll go with it. And might as well just go with the Sun Petal Grove. Okay. Shambling Vent and Simic 
woodland stream for our opponents. So close to having the right amount of cards in your deck, but just not. Not at all. Right, let's go mountain, pass the turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slasher. Thanks for the follow, man. Good to see ya. Alright. Ooh, on a crop captain. Right, I think we're gonna go stick a tracker down. Might as well. Yeah, you shouldn't really uh, stare at stats for too long. It'll rot your brain. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. What you got? Aw. Oh, that's fine, I guess. You lose a bit of value, but it's not the build-around card by any stretch, so... I ain't fussed by that. Nissa, Ooh, Simic Nissa. Alright, we can kill Simic Nissa. Ticks up, scries two. <laughs> I hear the ladies love when you talk about magic jewels. Goodbye, Smuggler's Copter. Goodbye, Nissa. And then we can Captain and carry Zev next turn, which will be interesting. All right, play a land, swing at Nissa. And no exit. They got weak at the knees, but they pass out when you tell them about the ban lists in standard. Ooh. No more Marvel. Wow. Ugh. <laughs> Westvale Abbey, so token strategy of some sort on the right, perhaps. Ticking up on our Crasher. Short of our left hand opponent putting something good down though. She's dead. And that's not a creature either. Okay, so... Pretty sure there's nothing that can get rid of the naturalists. Oh yeah, of course you get a zombie. Never mind. Silly me. Can we get past that in any way whatsoever? I don't think so. We've got no tramplers. Alright. Lives to fight another day. Well, we can stick our stuff down. Carry Zev. Tap those down. Ah, oh, yes, there is the exit for no block. You're absolutely right there. Good catch. Forgot about that. Right, so we can actually get the naturalist to go in and kill Liliana. So we might as well just get the captain down as well. <laughs> so, swing at our opponent. Exert, stopping you from blocking. I expect he might turn up a, at some point. But if he doesn't, just remember I'm also a mod. <laughs> and so is MTG bot, though I'm not sure what power he has at the moment. Ooh, we've had a scoop from our left-hand player. Is it just a bot, though, or have I been messing with it? 
You're willing to take the chance. <laughs> Swinging in with a zombie. I don't see the point. Unless he's got a pump spell. We can injury Gisela as well. Swing in with most of the team dealing double damage. So we'll just take it. It's not even worth the risk. <laughs> you don't think I know Python? I'm able to take that chance when I've got a degree in games programming. <laughs> An island! Ooh, run us. Okay, so insult and then injury, killing Gisela. Frees up all of us, our attackers. Seems good. <laughs> Kill Gisela and point some at our opponent. He's going to have to have a pump spell here. And he doesn't. Gear Hulk. <laughs> and swing in. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> From 25 all the way down to less than zero. <laughs> all right. This deck says some interesting things. And what life were they at? Exactly zero! Nice. If you'd have put um, the gear hook counters, I think you can put on... Oh, it's the only creature you control. Never mind. I was going to say, if you could put it on our creatures as well, that would have dealt double and definitely sealed the deal, but it's not possible. It's not how the card is worded. GG, sir. GG. <laughs> I've actually just been um, buying all of the vanity stuff. I'm not going to void all my cards, though. I think it looks disgusting. Uh, who is up next? Did anybody else sign up? I know some people added me, so if you want to make yourself known in chat, then uh, we'll play some Two-Headed Giant or Versus. It's up to you. <laughs> you can save up for the next expansion. Well, that was what I was doing as well. You want to play Lorda? Alright, um, what is your username and do you want to play Two-Headed Giant or Versus? <laughs> hey Vavoda! We've got your, uh, your deck on the list today. So oh, you might see it being played. Yeah. Michael K. Bro, thanks for the follow man. Oh, it's just Lorda, okay. Two-Headed Giant, sweet. Right, let's play the Hotline Fling deck. I've heard this is a pretty sweet combo deck. It's kind of like the uh, the Drake one, but without the prowess kind of side to it. So, Lotto, where are you? There you are. Okay. Send you an invite, man. <laughs> You'd like to play? Uh, Greed is good. You've already queued. I will put you on a list. And Shadow as well. Alright, cool man. And random opponent, let's go. So that's greed is good, and then Shadow as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. We got ourselves a list. Now let's see if I can remember how to mess with the bot as well. So I usually trusted Lumi to do all that, and he's left me. He's not here. But I think it is that, if I'm correct. 
There you go. Sweet. Oh, we timed out. Let's try that again. Two headed giant. Hotline fling. And Lotto. <laughs> Come on, game, you can do it. There we go. And queue up. We're looking at the deck screen. It's not the avatar screen, which is usually the confirmation that it's gone through. But we're loading something. <laughs> Bagger. Wrong team. Ah, oh, it's a shame this won't get fixed ever. Um, okay, let me drop that. See if I can move that there. No, I can't. Never mind. Alright, one more attempt. Well, probably not, but even more attempts. <laughs> Scale of 1 to 10, how long over were you? Um, is zero an option because I don't get hangovers? I am one of maybe the luckiest people in the world who can drink as much as he wants and not get a hangover. Stu, on the other hand, very hungover. Can confirm, saw him today. He looked rough. <laughs> Pray for Stu. He's alright. He, um, I think he went to the gym this morning and just ran it off. Hey, there we go. We're on the right side and we're in. Alright, we can take this. This is going to be an interesting one. So, it, this deck aims to fling Enigma Drake at your opponent, but it also has things like Fateful Showdown and collected defiance to start redrawing crap out as well. Fill our graveyard full of instants and sorceries. Which is pretty sweet. Not managed to play it yet. This is my first time running it, but we'll see. Unsubstantiate. Alright. What are you playing, Lordo? Ooh. It's been a while since I've seen Alhammer up. Blue black and currently mono black. And a friend request. Allow me to grab that while I can. There we are. Okay. Resume. Somebody hasn't pressed the skip turn button yet. Or was it us? <laughs> hey, Theron. Yeah, this is um, the John Holio sent me this deck. It runs around flinging Enigma Drake at your opponent, so we might be able to get out a stupidly powerful version of this. We'll have to see. I'm sure there's a little bit of a number though with Collected Defiance because we can't really discard our hand and drop two drakes because I'm not sure if we can get them back or not. We may have to just cast one and hope it survives. Oh, green black. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the hope. Oh, 
Whether it pans out that way or not is another question. So our right hand player might be playing a control deck which will make it very difficult for us to resolve it, although our teammate can of course... Eh, it's probably not then. I'm not sure what their deck might be. Might be a starter deck for all I know. It's a possibility. Okay, but we do have the slowest opponents in the world. Oh, it's so warm in here. <clears throat> Apparently today in England was hotter than Manhattan by a couple of degrees as well. My room is even warmer than that. <laughs> hey, compelling argument to mill ourselves. Alright. Sorcery speed though, so... Play it. Mill ourselves. See what we hit. Oh, all lands. You gotta be kidding me. Alright then. Yeah, I was really looking forward to Nickel Bolas. Such a shame. You never know though, if I end up transitioning over to MTGO a little bit, I might play around with him a bit as well. Oh my. I get the feeling that both of our players are playing starter decks, which is going to be interesting, considering we're playing our kind of glass cannon kind of deck. <laughs> yeah, it must be. Catalog gets a land and another catalog discards El Hammerit for some reanimator shenanigans. <laughs> In a world where your opponent can't press the skip button. Yeah, there's a lot of waiting. Let's just kill this child of night. Discard. Hmm. An unsubstantiate. I guess. Just want some instant and sorceries and then we'll start casting some drakes. So now they're four fours. I kinda wanna mess around with the fateful showdown. Never actually cast this card for my entire time on jewels. And it's gonna continue to be that way as long as I don't draw lands. Alright, let's get a Drake down. If they are indeed playing starter decks, then it's like five mana for a decent removal in black. Short of Bone Splinters, which kills one of their creatures in the first place. So we'll have to see. Hey, Louie's here! <laughs> He's finally made it. I was wondering if you were ever going to turn up, Lumi. Oh, Rick's gone. Left hand player. <laughs> You're in trouble now, Alpha. All right. I think this deck has displacement wave as its board wipe. Kind of board wipe, anyway. It's like a child night. Could really do with one though, as well as a land. A land would be helpful. Uh. How are we doing today, Lumi? Cracks the Evolving Wilds, draws a card from the Gitrog monster. More clues. 
Right, we're just going to swing in over the top. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's, it's, this is my curse, to be honest. You know. Just can't win. Let's play another Drake. <laughs> and there's your bone splinters. Takes out the Gitrog monster. Okay. Come on, land drop. Land drop will mean we can do a lot with our drakes, actually, because we can fateful showdown. Point at our opponent. Three to their face, dropping in a load of instants and sorceries into our graveyard. An extra two points of damage for each drake as well. <laughs> Oh, get wrecked, Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, anyway, Lumi. Just happy to have you here. Alright. We're down to 23. Let's see what we can do to them. That's a trampling worm. So, yeah, both our left and right players are on starter decks. The left-hand player is now the AI as well, so this is going to be fun. And there's our land drop. Okay. Well, we're just going to fateful showdown our opponent, get a redraw. There's our lands. We're going to hit for 14 in the air. Not bad. Not bad at all. Got the Gitrog monster and... I'll hammer it as targets as well as the reclamation stage for the necromag summons. Can't cast it anymore, but there is that. Still getting there. <laughs> Only half an hour. We're going for four hours today anyway, so it'll be like you at a full stream. Hmm. Tracker into land drop, get two clues. That's a lot of clues. And swing for 14. Lethal next turn. Lethal with one if we draw another instant that we can cast or throw away with a lightning axe. <laughs> I like that flavour. That's some good flavour. <laughs> look over there. It's funny how often yelling look over there gets your opponent to turn around. What's the um what's the card called where the flavor text is sorry for burning down your village here's some gold that seems kind of fitting for magic jewels at the moment All right swinging in It's fine by me 6 9 12 13 14 15 16 17 with a possible pump spell, actually, that might be devastating. But we're taking risk. Because short of a fog, we may just have won. Hey, compelling argument. We may just have won. Mill ourselves. Hopefully not hit a ton of lands. Oh. Sweet. Right. Let's make sure that they're both lethal. K 
kill that. Discard the mountain. Both of our drakes ready to kill. Reparations. That sounds about right. <laughs> Alrighty then. I suppose our teammate should get Alhamera. Because then he has to fog right now. Because if he names fog on our left hand player then there's just nothing they can get to get them out of this as far as I'm aware and they don't have an answer so that is game or is that a right hand player actually <laughs> finish oh it's each player isn't it Oh wow. That's even better than I thought it was in 2 headed giant actually. <laughs> you and your hearthstone flavour. <laughs> Alright, well one for you, one for you. And GG. <laughs> Sweet. Good game, sir. Good game. Right, next on the, the list. Excuse me. Thank you. I know my battery is low. Let me get that list up. Uh, greed is good. You're up next. Uh, what is your username and do you want to play two-headed giant or it looks like it's uh, Voda's gods and trials deck actually Let's see Were you one of the people who recently added me? <laughs> ah, might this be you messaging me right now? Yes, it is. Yes, play two headed giant, man. If you want to send me an invite, or I'll send you one actually. Uh, there you are. Add you again. Well, currently, after Greed is Good, it's just Shadow, so you can go on straight after if nobody else uh, owns up to wanting to play. We'll see. You want to play as well. Alright. There we go. Alright. I will add you in. Uh, I'll add you in before Peter, since nobody's uh... <laughs> really need to remove that Hearthstone command. <laughs> since uh, you haven't actually managed to play just yet. There we go. <laughs> I 
Okay. All right. So, if my memory about this deck is anything to go by, this is a bad hand. <laughs> this one is reasonable. We'll go with this one. Hey, Syntrax. Oh, wow, we've got a fat stack over here. Leading off with colorless lands as well. That's risky. Let's just go Lumbering Falls and pass. Ooh, control on the right. I like it. I approve. Currently mono blue in the top right. <laughs> Only one or two foils. Oh. I think you and Alpha are going to get along just fine. I mean, it doesn't look too bad on a few here and there. But I'm not a fan, overly. Let's just go with an Illuminator. If we ever confront the unknown, we can get double clues. And Walking Blister X1. Looks like it's going to be censored. Unsubstantiated. Okay. Oh, bouncing mine. Eh. I'll get over it. <laughs> Painful lesson. Draw two and lose two. Why not read the bones, though? what I want to know. Maybe you don't have it, I guess. Warped landscape. We're getting spicy over here. Confront the unknown. Okay. Well, I think we're just going to go Trial of Strength, make a 4-2. Over an Illuminator that we can't really make much use of right now. Trial, on the other hand, can come back later with the Cartouche. And makes a much powerful, much more powerful creature. Use does burn. I can see an argument for that, I suppose, then. But I do think the value of, if you're not going to point it at your opponent, being able to scry before all of that is just so much better than a potential 3 mana 2 damage burn spell. That can't even be re redirected to uh, Planeswalkers. I'm not sure I want to uh, look at that quote, to be honest. <laughs> if it came from yesterday's stream, it can't be good. Alrighty then. Ooh, Trial of Knowledge. Playing all the trials. Really, might as well. Draw three and discard. What have you been doing? Just drawing cards. Blue black mill, then? Maybe. Could also just mouth and put another 3 3 down. Hmm. Nah, that's trial. I like drawing cards. Discard a confront. Yeah. No. Visionary. No. Confront. I 
Oh, it's that. <laughs> it's that part of this Twitch stream. Oh yeah, I'll never live that down. Jace coming down. Jace getting spell quellered with sensor backup. And Jessup John Parker on the right did not like that at all, even though he could get it right back with the spell with the murder. And Jace is back. Fair enough. Did five colour over here. Missing swamps by the looks of things. Alright then. Well, we've got five mana. We could Tireless Tracker plus Land Drop, get a clue, then play Elvish Visionary, draw a card. Yeah. We tapped out, so. Short of a board wipe. There's no punishment to be had here. And Visionary. Cool. Swing for four. <laughs> it's the closest you're going to get to a Hearthstone video, Alpha. That's likely to never happen. Bound crack. <laughs> and a necromag summons going for spell queller. Right. Should be noted the right hand player is actually an AI. So this makes perfect sense for artificial intelligence, I suppose. At the same time, it is a 4-5. Call the Gatewatch. Looting with Jace. Flipping Jace. <laughs> Getting Chandra Flamecaller. Oh dear. Might be onto something now. Ticks up on our uh, hippo, beast, crocodile, lion thing. And is that an anguish to making? I see. It is. On the jace. Can hold up counters for Chandra, which essentially means our left-hand player has spent an entire turn doing that. We can Illuminator, so that Confront gets double clues. Missed our land drop, actually, which sucks. Although we can go Illuminator into Nissa, land drop, get two clues, pumping that up, making it even better. Yeah, let's do that. Nisa. Grab a forest. Play said forest. Make two clues. And we can swing through the spell queller now. So I'm pretty sure we will. Which one are you blocking? Not that one. Not that one. You're blocking the 2 2. You're blocking the 2 2. Well, let's do it. 
Investigate gets us an extra clue. Spell Queller dies with nothing underneath it. Oh, and it's the first time each turn, isn't it? It's a good job that didn't backfire. <laughs> Necrax summons back the Spell Queller. Just waiting on that Chandra to the left. And that's the one. We'd have to crack two clues in order to get the tracker to a point where we'd need a land drop for Cartouche of Strength to kill the Spell Queller without dying. Hmm. Oh, we could just straight up Cartouche and trade off our beast to kill it as well. I think we'll crack the clues. That seems like it might pay out a little better. Hmm. Maybe less so now. So if we crack that clue and it's not a land drop, we don't really do anything. So I think I'll just will trade off the beast here. Which will get back our trial of strength, getting us that back later anyway, and a trial of knowledge. Kill that. Yes, please. Refill our hand. Go to combat. And swing in with everything. Sticking a counter on the ballista. Extra two damage. Sounds good to me. Down to four. <laughs> Murder for my Nissa. That still puts them dead, so it's not terrible. I think maybe the ideal thing there would be to just hope they don't have languish and hold your counter for that, but I doubt they've got it. And in fact, with the tap land, our right hand player is definitely not going to languish. Left hand player could still have radiant flames though, that would do it. Water of the way through the stream. Look at that. Altered Ego. Copying. Walking Ballista, maybe? Tireless Tracker. Okay. We've got a cartouche to fight through that. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> you are indeed correct there. And Winnie Bickle Express is gone. Alright, well. We're just gonna crack clues, because we can. They're both gone now, so <laughs> might as well. 
Cartouche. Tireless Tracker. Make it a 6-5. Fight that. Yes. And go to combat. Sweet. <laughs> All right, next person on the list would be uh, Shadow. If you are ready to play, we can play. Uh, Alucard, there are three people on the list, including Shadow, so if you want to be up after, that's fine with me. <laughs> 